Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and welcome to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to factory reset your TP-Link CASA Smart Plug Mini to factory default. Let's say it's not working correctly, it does not want to connect to Wi-Fi, or you just, you're getting rid of it, you're selling it, or just want to start again from the beginning. Let's say start the setup process from the start. This video is only going to be covering how to factory reset your TP-Link CASA Smart Plug, but there's going to be another video later that I'm going to show you how to connect this again from the beginning, how to set it up to your CASA account, and all that stuff. But before we get started, hi, it's new. When you here, my name is Alex Torres. I do helpful technology videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to help my channel grow. Thank you. So let's get started with the video. So before we actually go ahead and do the factory reset and get our iPhone and all that stuff, you want to make sure your, your smart plug is connected to a power outlet. For example, as you can see, I just went ahead and connected mine right now. So it's going to start flashing and connecting to our Wi-Fi network. So after a few minutes, let that connect. Well, as you can see, it's already ready. So we were to tap the side button. There we go. As you can see, the blue light's on, meaning it's providing power to whatever would, was connected. So, so as you can see, once you connect it, you're going to see on your TP, you're going to see on your T, your CASA app. For example, for me, this one's the ceiling speakers. If I was to go ahead and turn it off, it turns off the smart plug. To tap it on again, it turns back on. So we're going to go ahead and factory factory reset this one. So make sure you're selecting the one, the correct one you want to factory reset. For example, if I select right here on my list, if I was to select my photo frame one, I would factory reset the wrong one and this one would still be linked to my account. So once you locate the one you want to factory reset, we're going to click on the top right, the settings gear. So we're going to go ahead and select the settings gear and then we're going to go ahead and select remove device. Again, be sure you're selecting the correct one you want to factory reset. So we're going to go ahead and do remove device. So remove device, of course, is going to ask you, your smart plug will be removed from your CASA account and restored to factory settings. All configured actions, like let's say if you had like a good morning widget or stuff like that, or animation, those would all be gone and remove it from other third-party services. So third-party services, of course, are like your Google Assistant, your Amazon Alexa, and all that stuff. So go ahead and click on remove device. And as you can see, it's removed from my app. And right here, as you can see, it's going to start the factory reset process. So let this factory reset and I'll be right back. And then we're going to come right back when it's done. So as you can see, after a few seconds, it might even take a minute, the smart plug is going to start cycling between the orange and blue light. That means the factory reset was successful. As you can see in my TP-Link Smart Casa app, it's not there anymore. You don't see a ceiling speaker smart plug. And if we were to go visit our Wi-Fi settings, you're going to see this Wi-Fi network. Again, this will all vary with your smart plug. Of course, the smart plug Wi-Fi network is just a little network it creates so it can sync back to the app once you repair it. So that's how to do a factory reset on your Casa TP-Link smart plug. So that's pretty much it. That's how to do a factory reset on your TP-Link smart plug mini. So again, once you factory reset, let's just say you had your Google Assistant, like saying, let's say you had, hey, turn on the lamp and you erase your device. That means your Google Assistant or your Amazon Alexa would no longer recognize it because when you link it to those devices or services, it uses what's on your device. So that means those scenes are gone too. So that's pretty much it. This video covered how to factory reset your smart plug. If you would like to see my other video on how to pair this, a video will be coming soon. So make sure to turn on your notifications so you can get notified when that video gets published. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.